We are your friends film dash trailer review. I have yet to see this film. Based solely on the trailer alone, however, I know it's going to be the best film ever made. One that will stand the test of time and go down in history as the next Citizen Kane. Or even Malcolm D. Lee's 2002 genre-defining classic, Undercover Brother. Just kidding, this film looks fucking horrible. It's a romance drama about the electronic dance music and Hollywood nightlife scene. Max Joseph, formerly the director of the riveting reality music television show Cat Fist, stops fisting cats and starts starts filming a bunch of white dudes, just like every other film ever made. Now judging from the film trailer alone, I wouldn't say the film would be particularly groundbreaking for these following reasons. Number one, where are the dragons? We live in the future where CGI dragons can be made by underpaid interns at an effects studio. Each film released after 2010 should at least have one dragon in it. Number two, the protagonist is some Michael Sarah looking motherfucker. All of the protagonists and his friends are already successful looking. I mean, if the movie was about a ragtag group of attractive youths who raped and pillaged then blew up a children's hospital, CNN would probably still use a nice photo of them smiling. And Rolling Stone would probably put them on the cover of their magazine. I mean, look at their house. It has a pool. Do you know how expensive it is to live with a house with a pool in LA or the valley or wherever the fuck they live in Southern California? Even if they all worked at McDonald's or Walmart or selling their bodies via webcam shows, they would all need to at least be making 5k a month for a Hollywood Hills house with a pool and a view. Number 4. Where are all the gay black people? You know the people who invented this type of music that they're playing. Where are they? Obviously not watching this fucking film. 5. A laptop. Some talent. A track. Is that really all you need? What about Justin Bieber's manager, Scooter Braun? What about the outsourced music producer who works day and night to recreate the same track over and over and over and over until they die? And then when they turn into ghosts, they still have to turn out the same tracks so that highly paid, beautiful actors get all the credit. And some talent? Why not throw the whole talent in there? Why don't you just not lie to everyone and change the word talent into a wealthy white guy? Number six, I did not see a single man bun in that entire trailer, nor did I see any black v-necks. Number seven, you see this young woman? This is the same young woman. Coincidence? I think not. Number eight, now everyone knows 128 beats per minute is the best beats per minute to jump to. Now every single song in the world is going to sound the same forever. Thank you Warner Brothers, you have successfully ruined music forever. Not only does your record label include such great musical talents as Knife Party and Adam Sandler, but you're probably going to go down in history as the studio label thing that made all music sound the same. Wait a second. Is this film a satire on the ever-growing, almost unstoppable electronic dance music phenomena and its commentary on faces being a front for producers hidden behind the scenes? Allegedly, of course. These actors are no different than the faces of ever-growing popular disc jockey idol personas that make the entire world jump. Probably not, though. Number 9. Why isn't this film set in a dystopian future? where only electronic dance music DJs battle each other to the death using only their sick beats and giant speakers, like a Pokemon battle. Only the Pokemon are sick LFO wobbles. And the main protagonist is a queer black female electronic music producer who is trying to save her bastardized culture from the clutches of evil Hollywood film executives who have stolen it and prostituted it for its monetary gains. Would I watch this film? Probably not, unless it stars Steve Buscemi as a lovable voice of reason pet cockatoo who has magical powers or something. Long story short, Hollywood is running out of ideas. These old ass fucking film executives are putting money into a movement they see all these millennials blindly jumping into, assuming they will make profit off of it. Fun fact, people don't even buy music anymore. The only reason EDM is profiting is because it's cheap to set up one giant stage made out of speakers and have six different DJs play their sound for an hour and charge people ridiculous amounts of money for a night of jumping. Of course, the WB or CW or whatever who's in charge is going to make money from horny young women and men who find these dudes attractive, I guess. I bet this film doesn't even pass the bitchel test. The film, We Are Your Friends, they don't even look like they'd be my friends. They look like they'd be like, that guy's fucking weird and we hate him. What I'm trying to say is, I'm a horribly sad lonely man, 